Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your local group policy settings on Windows 10 using the command prompt or command line window. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial. So if you've been messing around in your group policy editor, and of course this will depend a little bit on what version of Windows you're running, if you're even able to access the group policy editor. But in either case, if you're looking to reset those settings, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Either just left click on it or right click on it as well, it doesn't really matter. But we want to get to a command line window here, so I'm just going to type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt right above desktop app if you chose to type it into the start menu. Once you see your best match listed here as it appears on my screen, just right click on it. And then left click on run as administrator from that context menu you will likely receive a user account control window asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Left click on yes to confirm. So now this is going to be very simple here. I'm going to have this in the description of the video. I want you to paste in this first command here by going up to the top bar of the command prompt, right clicking on it, and then go down and left click on edit, and then paste. Once you paste it in, it should run the command. And then once you have the blinking cursor again, all you have to do at this point is just type in the next command that I'm going to have in the description of the video here. So again, go up to the top bar, right click on it, left click on edit, left click on paste. We've just ran that one as well. Hit enter on it if it doesn't jump it down to the next line. And now our last one that we're going to be putting in is going to be a GPU update space forward slash force. So I'm just going to edit, paste that in. And you guys can see what I'm doing on the screen here as well. I'm just pasting in the commands off screen if you're wondering where I'm copying and pasting them from. But you can see we're getting a little text here saying that computer policy update has completed successfully. So that should pretty much be it guys. I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And when you get this user policy update has completed successfully, you should be done. Once you have this blinking cursor as well as another telltale sign. So you should be good to go. Close out of here. Would recommend restarting your computer. I mean, it's not mandatory, but I always would highly suggest it. And that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.